Good morning, O'Neill. I hope everyone's having an amazing day today and enjoyed the beautiful, beautiful weather outside. I was able to get out and, you know, get let my chickens out and have some fun in the yard. And I hope you were able to too. So today is very exciting because it is International Women's Day. So as you know, the month of March is um, Women's History Month. And today is International Women's Day. So thank your uh, teacher if she is a woman. Thank your mother. Thank your grandmother, your tia, anybody. You know, just make sure to um, thank the, the lovely women in your life that help, uh, help you grow and learn. I know I've had quite a bit of, of teachers that have just shaped me as a person and in, and other women that help me uh, become who I was. So think back on that and, and find your heroes um, and make sure that you uh, honor them. Uh, this week, we also continue to have COGAT testing. So by appointment, uh, we will be sending out reminders uh, for some of our third and sixth graders to um, to make sure uh, you take that test. So that'll be great. And then Wednesday, the 10th, is Social Worker Appreciation Day. So I want us to make sure that we give a big, huge thank you to Mr. Hain for all that he does to make our school um you know, happy and have that social emotional wellness. So thank you, Mr. Hain, for making us uh, feel great and special every single day. So thank you. Well, in honor of International Women's Day, I'm going to read you a book about someone who I think is extremely inspiring. And I've actually seen her speak um, when I was getting my master's uh, in uh, administration and I heard her speak and um, went to a fundraising dinner and things like that with her there. And she's just a fascinating, amazing person and um, someone I want you to know about. So this is the story, The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Granyan. Let's find out a little bit more about her. Okay. There we go. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Granyan, that name. In her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. And P.S. I love cows. I think they're the cutest things ever. I just can't have them at my house. <laughs> In the city of Boston on a hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple. Hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl, she loves spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But some things she hated, like certain loud noises or bright crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull and tug Something else that she hated, a big, squeezy hug. Hmm. It's okay to not like those things. And it's all right. A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw, kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet still by age three, not one word did she speak. She's never been normal, was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right, you must send her away. 
Away, not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We will figure this out. You should all be ashamed. That's right. Parents should be the best advocate for their children. Then little by little, though sometimes she balked, special teachers helped Temple, and one day she talked. And that thing in her brain, it was autism, see? She was different, not less, and they finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind, she would see dozens of photos buzz by. When the time came for school, let's just say it was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple, how crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over. Look at her. And over and over. That's not nice. Everybody's different in their own way. Until finally she snapped. Yes, she did lose her cool. She threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school. No one really got Temple, but well, then again, the truth of it was Temple didn't get them. You need time away, said her mom. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in their herds, such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends and thought a thought popped in her head, these cows think like me, in pictures instead. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support. And a teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. He had opened adore. That's what we love to do. We love to push you into something that's going to be greatness for you. So she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it from memory. It's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. Like weighted blankets. Do any of you have weighted blankets? My son has one and it helps him sleep so much better. I've tried it too. It's actually quite comfortable. I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned that there were farms that were not so kind. I will help them, she said, some solutions she'll find. So she designed different ways to get the cows into where they needed to be for farming, but in a more kind, humane way. And then something cool. Can you guess, could it be? Off to college she went, a degree. She earned three. And though ladies weren't experts on farms at the time, do you think that stopped Temple? No way, she did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward, no tears. 
She took on the world, but at times she had fears. Because some things were scary, like people she'd meet who would ignore her ideas and, well, would not be so sweet. You're going to find those people. You're going to find people that tell you no. But if you have passion for something, move forward. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle and what makes them Mm -hmm. to build better farms was her goal she would do it be kind to our creatures they have feelings she knew it and slowly but surely she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs word spread about temple her feet's not so small. Temple Granyon, she's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now for these things and more, she won honors and prizes. And a movie was made, but the biggest surprise is that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker Yes, the once silent girl, she is now a big speaker. Like I said before, I saw her speak in, in a room full of hundreds of graduate students. It was amazing. Today, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches from New York to Sydney to Rome. Temple teaches. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is the lesson. Feeling odd or offbeat, being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall like temple, march right through that door. Ooh, let me go this way. And there is a picture of her in real life with her cows. <laughs> Dear reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you are good at and work on developing it. If you're interested in becoming a scientist like me, Find cool new ways to look at things, such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. Think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Wow. She's so fabulous. Let me see if there's any more. Oh, this book, it just kind of gives a little bit about uh, a fun facts and there is there's a movie about her um uh i forgot who the actor is but it's a good movie too um so that's really interesting and then she writes so much on animals and science and also on autism and so i think that is um a really really cool thing and there's her with her horse too where is she? Where is it? Oh, right over there. So these books are really super cool. I love all these. Um, and they're by uh, Julia Finley uh, Mosca. And she has a whole series um, of books like this. And I think we're getting some for the library, which I'm so excited for because they're really awesome, great books um, to learn a little bit more um, in a fun, rhyming biography way. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I hope you continue to enjoy your week at school this, uh, this week. Learn so much, explore, have fun, invent something new. And I know you will have a magnificent Monday.